Okay, so I'm trying to find snacks for work and whatnot, or just to have in general. And I was gonna go ahead and get the good snack, the organic snack. And okay, this is what it says. So no artificial flavors, synthetic colors, or preservatives, no high fructo fr fructose corn syrup, eight grams of whole grain. Okay, it comes with six of them. Okay, well, so where's the actual facts? Okay, but looky here. The regular granolas by Quaker um, are two for five dollars. This was like, that one's like six something. Two for five dollars, and it comes with eight of them. And let's look at the nutrition facts real quick. Okay. So the nutrition facts. Okay, so for the organic one, it says serving size one bar, 25G. For the regular one, it's 24G. And then calories are 100. Calories are also 100 for the other one. But calories from fat is 25 for the organic and 35 for the regular. Okay, so then total fat, 2.5G for the organic, total fat 4G for the non-organic. And then it says saturated fat, 1G, so it's the same, but then it has a percentage next to it, so it says percent daily value, which is different. And then, let's see trans fat 0g cholesterol 0mg sodium 65 for the organic 75 for the non-organic total carbohydrate 18g total carbohydrate for non-organic 17g it says dietary fiber is 1g and 3g for non-organic for the organics, the sugars is at 8G and sugars is at 5G. Now it says protein 2G and protein 1G for this one. Now let's look at the vitamins. So vitamin A, zero, calcium, zero, vitamin C, zero, iron, 2%. This one has vitamin A, zero, vitamin C, zero, zero. But calcium, there's 10% calcium in this one and 4% iron in this one. It's just not right. Like, I'm not trying to pay $6 for only one of these when I can get two of these for $5. But this one's supposed to be better for me. It's freaking stupid. What am I supposed to do? In this decision, let me know down below. What would you guys do? Would you go ahead and get the unhealthy Quaker Chewy for two for five dollars? Or would you go ahead and be healthy and get the organic for one for six dollars and something? What would y'all do? And it's not like I'm trying to lose weight or anything or necessarily be healthy. But, I mean, snacks already aren't like these type of snacks already aren't that good for you so I was like well let me just try to be a little healthy and get the organic and it does have less fat in it um and less sodium I don't know if cholesterol is necessarily bad for you though what does this one say cholesterol well both of them don't have cholesterol I know sodium you don't want a lot of sodium and I don't know if carb that's why I said carb carbohydrates but this one has less car carbohydrates. Let's see. Just not sure. This one has more dietary fiber. That sounds like it's something that's good. This one's total fat is higher. Whatever. I'm going to do the two for five. Tell me what y'all would have done. I'm broke right now, so I don't got time for this organic mess. Let me make sure I'm getting the right one. 
chocolate chip. Chocolate sweet chip. Well, this one says 25% less sugar. And this one doesn't, so let's see. But the total fat is less on this one. Okay, sugars, 7G, this sugar is 5G. So I guess that'll be my healthy hack of the day, is get the one that says 25% less sugar, even though I kind of feel like the one that don't got sugar, the picture look a little bit better, don't y'all? The one that got more sugar look better, don't it? <laughs> so hard to be healthy. <laughs> So I'm cutting bell peppers on a regular plate. Don't judge me. Uh, uh, why is it smudged? Okay, yeah, so I'm just cutting. Um, I guess I'll take the camera in a second and show y'all exactly how I'm doing this. I think you guys can see it a little. I don't do nothing fancy whatsoever. Okay, so this is what we have here, butter, onions, and um, red bell pepper. And it's a little bit, it's like halfway between low and medium. Onions are killing me. Okay, then we have four eggs with some milk, salt, and pepper. Okay, so we're gonna turn it up a bit so we can just hurry up and cook this cause your girl is hungry. Should have probably sauteed the onions a little bit longer, but I ain't got time for it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to doing what I usually do when I cook and do miscellaneous things like this. Watch YouTube videos. So whenever you guys are doing things like this, you should pop on one of your girls' videos. Um, but I'm about to go watch Nicole Guerrero, okay? Okay, so it's only about 10 minutes later, and it's done. And I, as you can see, like right here, I let it get brown. I like it to be a little brown. And then these are some potatoes that I made yesterday, which I also let to get brown and kind of burnt, as you can see right here. I like my stuff to be burnt. <laughs> it don't taste right if it's not lengthened, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just hand to do it, or just hand to. In another vlog, you'll see uh, me first getting this. Um, it's half gone. I've actually been mixing it with the other drinks that I also got, which was the Galeo Family Sweet Apple and the Pineapple. Um, the pineapple's done already, and I've been mixing it with with the sangria one and it's superb 
that herb, okay? But yeah, I'm heating up the potatoes so I can eat it with the eggs. And of course, I'm not eating all these eggs. I'm going to save some of these eggs for tomorrow morning as well. Look at all these freaking dishes I have to wash. Uh, <laughs> I hate washing dishes. Ugh. Let's try these. I got these just to try them. So I'm, I've been trying to find healthy options for snacking. Um, as you saw me guys going over in the um, store. So let's try them right now. Here we go. And this is the kale chips cheese flavored, which is why I got the little yellow specks. Oh God, God, Jesus, save me. Why did I do that to myself? Mm -mm -mm -mm, baby boo. I ain't eating that crap. Ooh, that was some nasty type of mess I had ever had in my life. Ooh, Jesus, that was nasty. Who in the world's eating that nasty mess? Ooh, I need to hurry up and eat this food. Oh, it's nasty. It tastes like. Oh, Jesus, what did it taste like? Real grassy. It's real grassy. Worse than grass, though. Grass don't taste like that. You can barely taste the cheese, so it didn't make it no better. Oh, that was some nasty mess. <laughs> My potato's hot. Yes, they is. Yes, yes, they is. Hey, yes, they is. Yes, yes, they is. Hey, hey. This is what I do with myself when I'm like at home in my apartment. I just dance and sing. Dance and sing. Hey, 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 dance and sing. Okay. Oh, let me get it together. But I'm about to go back to watching Nicole Cabrero. I just thought and felt like y'all might want to see what the food ended up looking like, you know? So I'm at Pin Zone. And we're bleaching my hair again. It's been a while. It's been like... Oh, that is short. That's, it's been like a month and a half since I first got it dyed. So, I'm excited. Um, this is our third time bleaching it. Um, she, my sister had another client, so the second bleach she had to just take out because she didn't want it to, I guess, over process would be the word. But then it just came out um, really blotchy, and I can't do the blotchy. If this one comes out blotchy, she's going to have to put some dye in this. Because I can't be walking around all extra blotchy. But I really just want it to be gray. I just want it to come out the way that I want it to come out. So, hello. Tell them what you've done. Okay. I've bleached her like 19 different times. I don't really, it would have been alright after the second time, but I had another client, a real client, so I had to That's screw her on out. His name is Benjamin. 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 My hair looks so red, it makes me so sad. She wanted to be pink, y'all. <laughs> well, I fell asleep with the dye on. Alright. Um, I'm letting you pull over here for, like... Let me do what? Let me sit over here for like 10 minutes. And my hair is feeling like a lot better this bleach time because it's all natural. So, like. And Olaplex. And Olaplex. 
but mostly the national. Alright, come get me if your head starts tingling. Or she, they keep telling me my head's supposed to like burn. It's not stuff. supposed to, it's just that if it starts to, we have to get it off. Oh. Y'all remember on uh, Next Top Model when they took this um, one girl of, uh, what is it, um, Platinum Blonde? And she was acting a fool. She was, and then I think like um, Tyra Banks had to tell her, like, calm down. Like, you have no choice. And it's not that bad. But the girl was dying. Like, I think she was crying, shaking, a whole bunch of stuff. So that's what I thought, you know, bleaching would be like. And they kept, like, looking like, your head doesn't hurt. Your head doesn't tingle. Your head's okay. You're not feeling anything. Are you sure? I'm fine. <laughs> Tell them oh, you want to eat? You do. Slaves don't get to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come get me. Alright, come get Last time we also didn't do this whole bag thing, so I'm yeah, hoping. Yeah, because the teachers were, they would have freaked out. I'm hoping that this bag thing is helping. Plus, it's cold in here, and when it's cold, like your body, your head and neck isn't at the temperature that it would be if it was a normal temperature inside of this grand establishment. Oh, life is hard, y'all. All right, I'm leaving you. I'm gonna give y'all some updates. So, in one of my last vlogs, inside of my workplace, we have your. Can you wait to be over there until you're like driving home or something? And nobody's even over here. If somebody comes over here, you can put that vlog here, okay? So over you. Oh my god. People just never want you to be the, be yourself. It's just like, dang, why can't I just be me? <laughs> so, as an update, in one of my last vlogs, at the end, I was telling y'all I had an interview, and I'm hoping I get it, blah, blah, blah. Yo, let me tell y'all, that was the worst interview of my life, and I did not get it. Uh, but, you know, everything is typically a blessing in disguise, so I'm sure that I would, wouldn't have liked the job, or it just would have been stuff that did not really go too well so that's how I look at it so I'm not heartbroken that I didn't get the job um, so I'm still at the same job that I'm in that I hate hate it hate it hate it hate it really really can't not hate it so then I had an interview at the boys and girls club and I'm pretty sure that they asked me did I have anything that would interfere with me working like nine to five and I was about to start my classes in the morning time. But here's the thing, online it said that it was a part-time job. And then they said it's nine to five during the summertime, full time. I'm like, well, online they didn't say that. Um, but they did tell me that they would keep me in mind and follow up with me and the lady did already do the first follow up that she said she was gonna do. So um, she said she was gonna follow up when the school year starts because it'll be part-time when the school year starts so just waiting on that and I'll probably follow up with her as well and then um, let's see then I had another interview at work where I work already and it was like still on the phone but it was only talking to bankers instead of talking to just customers now sometimes I would have to talk to the customer depending on what they're trying to do but most of the time, like 90% of the time, I'll be talking to bankers. I was offered that job after the interview but I couldn't do it because training is 9 to 5.30 and my classes are 9.50 to 11.50 Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I had to turn down that job which I'm just so irritated about. Um, then I interviewed for another job at work and this training would be 7 to 4 
which really that early life ain't, ain't, ain't what I do. But this job is a job that I really, 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 really want. So uh, also they told me that it would be individual training. So it's not a group training. So I'm just hoping that I get, if, if I were to stay with this, um, stay with the company I'm with, I want that job. If they tell me that I do am not getting that job, 100%, I'm not staying. Like, I keep trying to make myself feel like I should stay and I want to stay and it's not going to be that bad and it's worth the money and I keep trying to tell myself that, but I just don't. I really don't feel that way. I really don't. And my thing is, my older sister's like, you know... You can do it. You can survive a few more months and all such stuff. And I mean, yeah, I probably would survive. Would I possibly end up possibly close to being fired? Maybe. And I want a break. I told y'all before. I keep telling people like, you know, every summer, every winter break, every summer break, spring break. I always was working. I was always taking a class. I never had a break from 2011 to 2017 right now. I have not had any break. I haven't had any, you know, extended week trips going anywhere and things like that. Like, never. Ever. Ever, ever. I want a break. Like, I'm about to start grad school next summer. I want a break. Like, I don't feel like that is asking for too much. Like, I don't feel like that's asking for too much at all. And it's not, and by no means am I about to be sitting around being lazy. Like, I have to take classes um, up until I go to grad school. So that there alone is still technically not a break. But, I mean, the least I could do for a break is have my days to myself and to get my work done and all the type of stuff. And focus on what I really want to do and be able to make that you know prosper because I have a lot of ideas I have a lot of things I want to do and like it's halfway getting done it's like 25% to 27% you know getting done while working 40 hours a week um, plus overtime but it's not getting done the way that it could be getting done if I had all the time in the world you know Yep, so that's just a little update. I really think I'm just. Ooh, that look. Make the sweaters and get there.